very damp Thursday morning, and this is our last meeting at the UK CTC Club before we leave for London. Yes. On this press release, it's a space elevator, confirmed. Yeah. yeah. Airing. So what this press release is about is obviously a space elevator which is designed to transport cargo to and from the surface of a celestial body, which is also both utilitarian and accommodates human factors, which we thought was a bit contradictory. This trip to London has been months in the making, but if you didn't know or need a refresher, Here's a 60 second guide to the UK SDC. The UK SDC is a space themed competition set in the solar system in the near future. We're tasked with designing and presenting our idea of a human inhabited settlement, be it a space station, base, or space elevator. Pupils are split into fictional companies, part of the UK SDC's vast cinematic universe. Companies are massive groups of students organised by elections for the leading positions. For guidance, we're given an RFP, or a request for proposal. It's a document outlining the requirement points we're supposed to address. And remember that this isn't just extreme maths and physics. In fact, there's a whole department dedicated to the human factors of living in space. We're expected to deliver a slick and professional presentation, not to mention the skills needed for effective teamwork. So clearly, the UK SDC is an engaging simulation of the space industry. Welcome to Imperial College London, which is one of the most prestigious STEM institutes in the UK, if not in the world. It appears that the last team has just arrived, so now we can hopefully settle down. Right, we've got to ask them if they know no It's King's Mountain. We've carried us significantly in the region of the world. And now the Foundation Society is introducing the Aerial Space Elevator. This is a space elevator on the moon, connecting the moon, uh, the moon surface to the orbit. These contracts, so you have four students in that company. Oh no, it is seven. We're starting elections <laughs> soon. Multiple candidates, so we can have a bit of competition yeah. running. Go on, Charlie, come on. Go on, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After suggesting Charlie to be president, he gave a great speech, but ultimately realised that we had to choose Jeffrey, who had experience at the national level. Arush and I tried to go for vice president, as well as many other people but it was certainly more than Arusha's hat tipping that got him the position. While the plot thickens, I've been elected as Head of Finance and Marketing. So we've got to look at all these requirements from a business sort of perspective. And remember, we do need to read the whole thing because this is a system of sorts and we need to consider other departments as well. We've AI generated some logos and now Kandara's asking about which one she thinks is best. 56,000 kilometers above the surface of the moon. It's a lot. Um, one of production of... Um like the structure basically. Uh, so, I can't give you exact yeah. Okay. Can, can you? We found three technologies that we need to implement in the presentation. We've decided what technologies are important and the other departments will decide how to do that. I'm having a bit of issues with AI generated images, but I'll sort those out by changing out the prompts. Sunset and we're busy as ever with our spreadsheets and selling our biogas. This is where things start to heat up. Weather is possible and accurate, yes. Better numeral systems, but we've got enough time. Percentage is good now. Pieces arrived again. We've got pizza. Starting to get our costs now. Now that we're talking about gym memberships and monetizing schools. What are we doing? What are we doing? Table Someone's been slacking off on our risk yeah. assessment. After initially not being so successful, we've got down most of the RFP points and we're getting costs uh, to a reasonable level as well. Charlie's going to present and I'm going to answer the really hard questions, how we're going to be profitable. We're exporting a lot of cargo, so it's good to ask about what prices are reasonable to charge for what is a trading hub of sorts. I don't have to bring it up. Yeah. Um, I'll take 11. 
Everyone starts at 11. Just because it's 9 ish doesn't mean uh, the work stops. Some people are going to sleep from 3 to 6. Um, some people aren't going to sleep. Some people are not going to sleep at all. Yeah, that's. I would be much more comfortable going in for a present. We are making mad money, so we can afford like what? extra things. I mean, Charlie, the, the way I would see it, yeah, like you and one other person have been oh. really it stupid. Every like single like adult the, I ask is actually quite like the idea. Like like 10 minutes. If you have to take like up 30 seconds speech. answering a question, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's 30 seconds There's not picking apart something we need to answer well. Exactly. Um, We've changed rooms about half a million times, but great. still getting so good. <laughs> still getting feedback at 12.42. Um, five past one, no matter what time it is, um, there are a bunch of legends still awake, still giving us feedback. Some of us are starting to change into our formal attire because, of course, we're role playing for a fictional company. A second natural disaster is asteroid in space waste. Uh, seven casks, each of which have an initial capacity of 400 million kilograms. Each cask can run at the same time. All things considered, I think that was a pretty decent practice run. We ran slightly over time and we didn't have any real closing remarks. The presentation is about half an hour each. We're going to be staying here for a pretty long time. Okay, good morning everyone. Here at Condor, we don't just anticipate the future, we create it. How does this not fall into the same thing as as you can see, we have two upper lists, which are actually stationary, and that is for a port system. You need to know what you thought would happen when you attach a tether to the surface of the moon, not at the equator, but in other places. What is going to happen to the orbit of your satellite? Uh, we're placing the actual space station at the uh, Earth moon, L1, that branch point. Yeah. So, so relative to those two bodies, it shouldn't move. Here at Sapiens, we take pride in the combination of simplicity and functionality for our proposal. Ariel will be located past L1 at 120,000 kilometers above the lunar surface. So at the top is our time to activate, make sure the settlement, the central mass of settlement is staying directly above the L1 position. Charlie's going to speak for business and marketing. He's just taken my iPad with a timer on it to help with how quickly to run through the slides. As long as we've got King Jeffrey with us, we're going to be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, the AI, the AI company is proud to present the proposal for the segment Aerial. Therefore, this means we're going to locate Aerial between the Earth and the Brain Point 1. This allows Aerial to function as an intermodal connected hub. Both perspective. We first got to the national round, Miranda got to the international round, and while we were at it, we got two thirds of the leading positions. So next time in October, we're intent on an all BGS senior leadership team with international experience. It's been one heck of a learning experience, and our main takeaway has been 
We're putting the leaf back up there. You know who you are. <laughs>